excuse the sound quality uh, as the camera's quite a uh, distance away from me and also more importantly you'll have to excuse my headgear as the sun is still out and it's been a beautiful day but I don't want to burn my head. So starting off we're going to go into a Wuji posture. I'm not going to spend too much time as you all know how to do it but connect with the ground, crown reaching for the stars, release the pelvis, lengthen the spine, release the belly and start mounting the body's tension into the earth. Feel the weight difference of the feet towards the earth as you start that mounting process. We're going to bring the arms up so the palms are facing and just bring our awareness to the hands and to the sensations of the hands. Hopefully it won't be too long before you start feeling the vital force, vital energy of the hands. And if we're having trouble we just need to release the back, release the shoulders, release the elbows, release the wrists, release the fingers and you should notice a considerable increase in tingling within the hands. And as this increase what we're going to do, we're going to slowly expand this Tai Chi bubble and contract the bubble. Expand and contract. And now we're going to bring in the breath. As we open up, we're going to breathe in. And as we contract, we're going to breathe out. In for the nose, out for the nose if possible. Although it doesn't really matter. We want to get to an optimum uh, distance. So when we start to really expand the energy, you want to feel the strength in between the palms. And you'll feel that from the resistance as you start to play around with it. So some of you might have your hands quite close, some of you might actually be expansive and the ball quite big. We don't want to make it too big so we lose connection of the energy between the hands and we don't want to make it too intense by having them too close. So it's sort of like a sweet spot but you should feel a nice resistance and a nice bounce within the hands. So once you've got this distance correct, again release the back, release the shoulders, release the elbow, release the wrist, release the fingers. And really zone into that vital energy within the hands. So on each in-breath, as we breathe in, we're going to stretch slightly the fingers out and on the out breath we're going to release the fingers. So it's like a pulse in time with the breath. Stretch on the in breath, release on the out breath. And you can have a slight body movement if you wish, you don't have to. So. This stretch is like more of an internal stretch, it's not a, like a yoga stretch. It's like you're stretching the bone inside your fingers. And what that does with relaxation is connect to your fascia, which means the energy can travel um, through a lot more efficiently. So you'll get more sensation along with the breath. And whatever sensations you're feeling now, I want you to try and relax even more. So again, relax the back, shoulders, elbow, wrist, fingers, even more than what they already are. And be aware 
of where it's blocked and where it's not. Still using the breath, in, out, in, out. Still pulsing the fingers. And once we've done five minutes of that, ten minutes even, you can then go on to feeling the energy or being aware of the energy in between the hands. So we're no longer working with Jin, vital energy. We're working with Chi, the astral energy. So all our awareness is in between the hands, not the hands itself. And now we're going to do the same thing, but bring the awareness inside. So we're really linking in to the awareness of the energy within inside our hands and allowing that to expand and contract. Expand, let go, and contract. When I say contract, I should really say release. And what you'll find this time is that as you expand, your arms or hands will move by themselves. It's the intention of your yi, your mind intention, which expands the chi which pushes the hands away from each other. You'll notice how you just have to, when you relax and release, you just use gravity to enable the hands to come together as such. And then you let the release, let go of all the tension on the expansion and it will feel like your hands are moving by themselves. The awareness is in between the hands. It's no longer at the hands. Very important. So now we're moving Qi. And we've gone past the uh, vital Jing uh, um, process. So you do this for another 10 minutes or so. Even though your awareness is in the hands, you will notice an increase in tingling and sensation of the hands also particularly in the centre of the palm and on the edge of the fingertips. And for most people that's enough and you can bring that awareness in to your breathing, which I showed you last time. If you want to take it a little bit more further, so if you want to use this vital or chi energy for uh, more of a Tai Chi uh, use rather than a, a healing use, we can keep the, maintain the sensations within our hands. So our hands are here and we just turn the palms over and we're going to drop the spine, stretch the spine open, sink into the feet and draw the energy in. So you're pulling the joints in. Okay, that sounds a bit strange, but it's like if you've got hold of a a, a railing, an iron railing, and you pulled your shoulder back, your elbow back, your wrist back, but you still contact, you still held onto the railing. It's a similar sensation. The only difference is uh, you're not holding onto the railing, obviously. And on the reverse, you're pushing out. So it's like you're pushing the joint open, pushing the shoulder. Well, sorry, pushing the back, pushing the shoulder, pushing the elbow, pushing the wrist, and pushing the fingers out when you do the reverse okay so when you bring it in it's, it has a magnetic quality and as you send it out it has a electric quality to the chi so it's still the same chi but it has a different quality to it so hopefully when you uh, practice this a lot you're it's, it's very obvious the uh, electric and magnetic um, sensations and feelings you won't find, if the body is tense in the chest, abdomen, legs and so on, then you're going to find this uh, a little bit more difficult. So you, at the same time you're constantly relaxing and letting go of tension through the body, even though your intention is focused on the drawing in of the joints and opening of the joints. Okay. So don't get confused 
we're not using tens tension at all. We're using our mind, our yi, to pull the joints in. So you're pulling the joints in and using our mind to expand them out. It's not a physical thing. There's no tension within the external muscles. You're very relaxed, but you've got this internal fascia connection which allows the energy to flow. So even though the, the, my hands may, on video, I don't know if, what they will look like, but on video they might look like they're slightly tense, but they're not at all. They're completely relaxed. All I've done is done an internal stretch within the bone structure. That's what, hap that's what I do uh, with my uh, yi, my intention. So, we can have a slight rise and fall as we do it on the legs as well, bending from the quad. So you've got your ball again. You've created your um, vital energy within the hands. You've then changed the awareness to the energy between the hands, which is the chi and the astral energy. And then we're going to turn the palms over. We're going to sink down slowly into the feet, but pull the joints in, and we'll fall into the floor. This is your magnetic. And then we're going to expand and push the joints out to the, all the way and I want you to think and expand all the way as far as the mind will go. So you're drawing into the earth by pulling in the joints. Remember it's not a physical pull and then you expand the joints open. Pull in and expand. So as long as we've maintained this feeling of chi, the astral chi, the feeling of uh, energy within our hands, not the hands itself, you're going to get a really good um, sensation from this. And just like it before, as you felt like the hands were moving by themselves when we did the, the ball, you'll find that as soon as you change the intention of the mind, as you start to pull the joints in and draw in and sink into the floor, you'll feel that the arms are moving again all by themselves. It takes a bit of practice. So we're pulling in and expanding out. As we expand out, we're breathing in. We're filling up the, um, uh, sorry, not filling in, uh, using the diaphragm. And there we go. So what I'd suggest is not to rush into the magnetic and electric. First of all, stick with vital breathing. That's really good for the health anyway. So bring in your awareness to your to the hands. If you're confident with that, then you can bring it the awareness to the energy between the hands. And that's really when things start to happen. So you'll start to feel different. It's a slightly, it's very subtle, but the more practice you get, the more obvious it becomes. And it then really is more to do with intention rather than the physical movement and awareness. Again, if uh, you struggle with that, then don't move on to the pulling in the joints and expanding the joints okay so you're closing the joints by using your mind and your mind only and then expanding the joints okay so I hope you enjoy that and um, another article will be written not on this subject um, in a few days and I'll make sure that gets to you thanks very much and uh, we'll see you soon